Hello, hello, my year six artists. Welcome to our new project, all about pattern. And we're looking at Islamic art and Islamic patterns. We've been looking at different styles of Islamic art um, that date right back from the golden age of Islam, which we've been studying in history. And we're looking at some artists who use it in a very modern way, artists like Sarah Chowdhury, um, using those very traditional ways of creating geometry um, calligraphy and arabesque to create something really new. Sarah Hussain as well, another very modern British Muslim artist creating really original works from those traditional ideas. Uh, the other artist we're looking at is Sam Amara as well, who really links music with um, the designs and patterns. So we're going to have a look at making our own little piece of Islamic art today using some geometry, traditional geometry techniques. Now there's amazing people you can look at online and get really good lessons for free, absolutely fantastic if you want to learn more, but I'm going to show you on the easiest things. The first thing we need to do is we need to make a square piece of paper. Now, A4 paper is uh, the height of it there is 21 centimetres. So if we just measure along 21 centimetres from the edge, we'll be able to make a perfect square. And it needs to be perfect. This is about being as precise as you can be. It's an incredible skill to do this style of geometry and this style of artwork and you have to have lots of time and patience. So there we are, I have a square which is 21 by 21, just checking that, making sure it's precise. And now I'm finding the midpoint which is 10.5 and I'm just putting some little dots there at 10.5 all the way down. Again, you need three dots to make it precise. If you have two, it could be wonky. So be really precise. Then you're gonna flip it over and do exactly the same thing. The best tools you've got here are your ruler, pencil and compass. You can achieve the most amazing and extraordinary artwork with nothing more than some patience, a ruler, a compass and a pencil. Now we've done the straight lines, we're going to do the diagonal lines and those go right through the centre. And again, just check your rulers lined up at both corners and right in the centre. Same here, both corners and straight through the centre. And there is our grid, which is going to start us off really nicely. So we're going to change tool. We're going to start using our compass. And so now we're putting the pin of our compass right in the centre and we're taking the pencil to right to the edge. Now we know that that's 10.5 centimetres. You might want to just check it because again, this has to be right. Now I did a very light circle and actually you want to do light circles. You want to do light lines with your ruler. I'm making them strong so you can see them, but actually you're going to want to rub a lot of these out later. So if you're doing them nice and lightly, that will work perfectly. We now need to put another square inside and we're going to use where the where the lines of our circle cross over our diagonals there. Can you see that? That's where the intersection is. That's where it crosses over. And we're using that to make a perfect square. We don't need to measure it out this time because we've used our lines and we've used our intersections where the lines cross over. And there we have it. We're ready for the next piece to go on there. So we're just turning over. We need another square. And so we're going to do exactly the same, going corner to corner there to the edge of the circle this time. And this is making an eight point star. And you can see this grid here and you can begin to see this eight point star. It will become more clear in a minute because we're gonna highlight it. We're gonna use a permanent marker. It's really important it's a permanent marker. It doesn't matter what color it is. You just choose any color, but it has to be permanent because we're going to be covering it with watercolor later and it will wash off. So now we're gonna highlight this eight pointed star. Now you can use a ruler if you like. I'm not going to, I'm going to do it freehand, which you really wouldn't do with a proper Islamic geometry, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just picking out these triangles here 
and it's picking out the edges there to make this eight pointed star. And now all we're going to do is decorate it. This is why you needed that permanent marker so that when we put the watercolours on, it doesn't make a horrible mess of your lines. Now, before you use the paint, you're going to rub yours out, your lines that you don't need out, but I kept mine on so you can see what I was doing. And there we have it, our first piece of Islamic art. You can take this in all sorts of directions. I, I did one earlier where I put a circle in the middle and I intersected those circles. There's so much you can do, but if you can just have this basic starting point, you can go on from there and really enjoy developing this beautiful skill.